Guys, it's finally happening. Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns, but on Elimination Chamber. But it's in Mon Montreal. It's cool, is it? We all know that Sami is gonna lose that. Is that the right move? Hello and welcome to this week's SmackDown. I'm your host, Angelo Wrestling. In fact, my name is Angelo Petkov. I don't know why, why my channel says Angelo Wrestling. It's cringe, I know. Just the show started with Imperium versus Braun Strowman versus Ricochet versus did I say versus too many times? Braun Strowman and Ricochet versus Imperium was the first match of the night. The winner of this match will face the Usos next week for the tag titles. I was surprised that Imperium lost. Honestly, I don't know where that tag team is going with Braun and Ricochet, but I kind of dig it because I don't know, it's a big guy with a small guy. But we all know it's gonna lose. Why am I surprised that it's not Imperium the winning winning team? Because, as I said in the last episode, Imperium was heavy pushed in NXT. So I was expecting kind of the same thing here right now. I guess they're delaying the inevitable. They just don't want the Usos to drop the titles right now and on a regular SmackDown episode. So probably Imperium are gonna get a title shot in the future and they're gonna throw Ursos, but it's, it's gonna be in the future. After that, we had a SmackDown women's title match. Charlotte Flair versus Sonya Deville. Amazing performance for Sonya Deville. Again, not quite the aggression I expected, but at the end, Charlotte won, of course, and uh, she gave respect to Sonya because she was persistent and she's trying to get to her and stuff like that. Good stuff for Sonya. I hope she carries that momentum forward. Brawling Brutes versus Viking Raiders. That match started and I was wondering why we're doing that match. And after that, I was thinking about Brawling Brutes are the Sheamus guys and they're kind of revenging Sheamus and Drew. But at the end of the match, when Viking Raiders won, Sheamus and Drew came out and they started beating up the Raiders. From a storyline standpoint, I kind of don't understand it. From a fan who just likes to see sweaty guys fighting, I like it. We saw Bray Wyatt epic segment. It was like five seconds, but it was more than enough. A lot of people are saying that the storyline leads to nowhere with the Uncle Howdy. Some people are saying that Bray Wyatt is overrated. <sighs> For all the people who are saying that, you can quote me on that one. You can, you know, you can, you just don't get it. That that's why you are. Uh, I I don't know. At least I am for that part of wrestling. That is more storyline, uh, long term, story based. Have an actual idea. It's not about only the fight, it's about the story outside the ring, inside the ring, the whole drama. That's what I'm, that's, that's what I'm talking about. We had a match for Elimination Chamber qualification. Uh, a few days ago on Raw, we saw that four women are automatically qualified for the Chamber, which was kind of weird. So today on SmackDown, we saw that four women are trying to qualify for the Chamber. Shotzi, Shayna, Natalia, and Zelina. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was expecting Shayna to win. And after that, Shayna to win the whole Chamber. Why Natalia won? I have nothing against Natalia. I'm just not a big fan, but if it all makes sense in the end, I agree. Okay, cool. Moving on to the best segment of the night. Moving on to the segment we were all waiting. Moving on to the segment that we were waiting for a whole week to see what Roman Reigns is gonna say. What Roman Reigns is gonna say about Jey Uso, about Sami, about Cody. What Jey Uso is gonna say. What Sami is gonna say. A lot of questions and to be honest, I was a little bit underwhelmed because we received almost no answers. I'm kind of an idiot because I'm scrolling a lot of Instagram in my free time. And even if I'm not scrolling a lot, I just go to the explore page and I, I automatically get all the leaks and all the rumors. So I knew that Sami versus Roman is gonna happen at Elimination Chamber because it, it is happening in Montreal, where it is the Sami's hometown. And I kinda already knew about that match. But do you know what is exciting though? <sighs> the moment of the week was exciting, bro. Sammy! 
I know that this clip arose everywhere right now. The Sammy Spear, <sighs> it was chills. Uh, I mean, you could see that Sammy's gonna do a spear from a mile away, and I was like, no way. No way he's doing spear. No way he's doing it. But, but he did it so well, and it's like, that's gonna be in his arsenal now from now on, like he's doing it so well. I kinda didn't like that uh, Roman got the upper hand, I kinda didn't like that Jay didn't show up, I was expecting either KO or Jay to show up and help Sammy, but I guess we're saving that for next week or some Raw or I don't know, because at the end of the day Elimination Chamber is like two weeks away, we need to build that up a little bit, but I, you know what, I... I I trust Sammy, I trust Roman. WWE posted a video <laughs> which is like one hour long. Sami Zayn and the Bloodline story or something like that. <laughs> it's a one hour long video, it's basically like a movie, oh my god. I haven't watched the whole thing because I know the whole story because I was following it. But oh my god, it's one hour, what a great story. The pop-up that Sammy got is amazing. The pop that Sammy is gonna get and Kevin is gonna get at the Elimination Chamber is gonna be insane. So I can't wait for that. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for this week's uh, SmackDown. Yeah, uh, I, it's that part of the video where I stand right here on that part of the screen and you can see the previous video. What are you waiting for? Like, usually I uh, leave like a couple of seconds for people to uh, click on that video, but what are you, why are you still here? To watch me do some, some, some funny stuff? What do you think? I'm a clown or something? No, I'm not a clown. Maybe I am.